Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, Revised General Test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order to be able to follow my work. We are on the problem that, that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 148. Today is our day number 34. Let's take a look at it. Problem number 10. Problem number 10. Problem number 10, when it appeared in the real exam, it was a very straightforward, simple question. 93% of people who took the exam, almost everybody who took the exam, had no problem with it at all. And my guess is that the other 7% other who missed it, not because they did not understand it, not because it was difficult, they missed it out of carelessness, which happens to the best of us. Here's what happens. Here's, here's the problem. We are told that we have an insurance fee, insurance fee of 75 cents or up to $25 value. And we are also told that the fee, the insurance fee is $1 for anything over $25 value. We are sending three packages. We are sending three packages worth $18.25, $25 exactly, and $127 and 50 cents. The question simply is, what is the cost of insurance? Well, it's very simple. This package here, that is $18.25, we are told that any package that is worth under $25 or up to $25 including $25 that's the tricky part that's where people make mistakes up to $25 is only $0.75 cents. so this is going to cost us $0.75 cents to insure the second package which is exact, which is worth exactly $25 will also cost us $0.75 cents to insure because the insurance rates are such that any package up to $25, including $25, up to $25, costs 75 cents to insure. This package, which is over $25, is going to cost us $1. That's it, that's our answer. 75 plus 75 is 150 plus 250, 250 cents or $2.50. $2.50. The answer is the answer is C. That's it. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one right here underneath it. Number 11. Or perhaps we shouldn't do number 11 up here. Why make it so crowded? There is no reason for it. There is no reason for us to keep it on the blackboard. Let's do the next one separately. Number 11. This one, when it appeared in the real exam, 78% of people had no trouble with it. For those of you who, have, who happen to own this, this book here, the old GRE, the 10th edition, the 10th edition, it is out of this book that these questions are coming from. The previous question that I finished, the one about the insurance, the one about the insurance, well, is something that you're going to find on page number 209 of the 10th edition. Page 209. This one, 10th edition. This one that we are, that we are about to solve appears on page 292 of the 10th edition. One more time, page 292 of this book right here. 
let's take a look at it. We are told that 55% of purchasers were female. Were were females. If 55% of the purchasers were female, then it stands to reason that the remaining 45%, this implies that the remaining 45% of the purchaser must be males. And the question simply is, what is the ratio of female to male? Now, here's, here's what's going on. Pay attention here, pay listen carefully. Of the 22% of, the of the people who missed it, my guess is, my conjecture is, that a large number of them, large number of those people who got it wrong, just give me a second here, see if I can find this one word. I probably will not be able to find it in the spur of the moment. The word that I just used was conjecture. And I'm, I do not know if we ever covered it. means a guess. What I was looking for here in my notes here, I have in addition to the videos that you're watching right now, I also have vocabulary videos. So if you go to my channel and look for vocabulary videos to help you prepare for the vocabulary for the GRE vocabulary for the for the GRE or GMAT or the SAT, you will find the voc uh, vocabulary video which might help you which might which which might help you improve your vocabulary a little bit. And I was trying to see if I actually covered the word conjecture, which I believe I did. But right now I cannot find out as to what day it was, so I cannot tell you which day to watch precisely. Because there are too many, too many words starting with C. Oh, I found it. What do you know? Day 31. Just type in Kashwani Prep, vocab, day 31, and you will learn the word conjecture along with some other words. So my conjecture is, my guess is that the large number of people, large number of the 22% of the people who missed it, probably missed it because they were being careless, they were not paying attention. You must pay attention to what is being asked. We are being asked for a ratio of female to male, not male to female, female to male. So females will go on the top, males will go on the bottom. And what, what it tells us is that the ratio is such that out of every 100 people, out of every 100 people, or rather, let me rephrase it, the ratio is such that for every 55 females, for every 55 females out of a group of 100, 45 are males. That is the ratio. That's the ratio because 55% of the purchases were female, therefore 45% must be males. That's it, we're done. All we have to do is reduce it. Divide the top and the bottom by 5 and you're done. If you divide the top by 5, we get 11. If you divide bottom by 5, we get 9. And 11 over 9 is our answer. 11 over 9, or 9 to, uh, 11 to 9. What does answer A? Answer A. 11 to 9. That's it, we're done. I will see you tomorrow on day number 35. Then we'll do the problems that you'll find on the next page, page number 149. But that's the idea. We're going to keep on chugging along until we get to where we want to go, which is to get to the very last question in the book. We'll try to do every single math problems. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.